Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these super cute little coffee mugs that I have designed. Um, this one's different, this one's pink lemonade obviously, but I just decided that I would switch up the drink a little bit, but we're going to be doing this design today. This one here, not the pink lemonade, although you can make whatever drink in your mug, you know, that's up to you, uh, but I will say this fruit slice was not designed by me, this was by Saturn Looms here on YouTube. So if you do want to make or have a fruit slice in your cup, then go check out her channel for that tutorial. But we're just going to be making this one here. And what you're going to need for this is a hook. I'm using my Rainbow Loom hook. I just added a grip onto it, so mine might look uh, a little bit different than yours, but this is the hook that I'm using. And you're going to need the color that you want your mug to be, so I'm using this purple here, and I'm also going to use this brown for my actual coffee. And you're also going to need a stitch marker. I'm just using a C-clip. And then you're going to need a black band for the mouth. Um, but you just cut the black band into little um, uh, mouths like I did. And then you're going to need two pieces of uh, whatever you want your blush color to be. I'm just using this pink color here. And I'm also going to be putting the... Um, pattern in the description, although for the handle, I'm not sure, uh, this part right here, I'm not sure how I'm going to write that into a pattern, so if I don't figure it out, I'll just put a timestamp to the point in the video where I do make the handle, but as far as band count goes, if I counted correctly, it should be 237 bands, so let's get started. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that you're going to need polyfill or some sort of stuffing for your little cup as well. I almost forgot to mention that, but uh, let's start with the pattern. So the first row is going to be a magic ring of six and a magic ring, I'll show you, what you're going to do first is you're going to put a band on your hook just like this and then you're going to make this into a triple cap band. So you twist it and put it on your hook like that and then twist it again and you and this is going to be a triple cap band um, and this is going to be the center of our magic ring and then you're going to put six stitches into this one cap band so you're going to sort of pull this off your hook and pull this band through everything that you have there so just like that and you reclaim and then you're going to pull this front loop through the second one just like that and now you have this triple cap band and one stitch on your hook but like i said we are doing six stitches so put the triple cap band back on your hook go through the band and then you're going to grab a new band and put it through the cat band only don't put it through this band at the very back just the cat band you're going to pull it through and reclaim and you're going to pull this front loop through everything on your hook just like that now you can see this is what it's looking like and this is two stitches that we have here and we're gonna do four more so you're gonna go back through your cat band just like that let me do that again and make sure you can see it good um, you go back through the cat band just like that and then Pull the band through, reclaim, and then pull the front through the back. Or the front through everything, I mean. And you're going to go in the cat band again. 
and make another stitch. So now we have one, two, three, four stitches so far. I gotta do two more. I'm going to pull that through everything and then our last stitch just like that so now I'm going to count this one more time with you so this is one on your hook and then this loop right here is two and then three four five and this is six right here and now we're going to put on our stitch marker, just like that, and we're going to start on the second row. And the second row is going to be an increase all the way around, and I will show you what an increase is, so don't worry. Um, sorry, this band right here is kind of loose, so I'm just going to pull the other side of it to tighten it a little bit better. But an increase is where we stitch two times into the same stitch. So this is our first stitch here. We're going to go through there, just like that, do our first stitch. We're going to pull a band through the stitch and then reclaim, pull it through everything, just like that. And then where we just made that stitch in this cap band or in this band right here, we're going to go through it again. Like that and make another stitch and that is what an increase is so we're going to continue to do that all the way around and we're going to end up with 12 stitches by the time we're done and I don't know if you can hear in the background but my hamster just woke up since she's decided to run her wheel and it is kind of loud, so sorry if you can hear that in the background. And I'm trying to go slow with this so that you can really see what I'm doing. Um, but if I am going too fast, you can just slow the video down. This is also the first uh, tutorial I've ever made. So if you have any kind feedback to give me, please let me know. I would love to make these as easy as possible for you guys to follow. And our last stitch is going to go through the band that is on, or the stitch that our stitch marker is on. So you're going to go through there and, sorry, there's polyfill caught on this. I swear that stuff gets absolutely everywhere all the time. It's kind of annoying, but we're going to make our last increase here. Just like that. And then we're going to count first. Uh, so again, the band that's on our hook is one stitch, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I'll move it up like that. And now we're going to move on to row three. So row three is going to be a single crochet and then increase all the way around. So we're going to start with this first stitch here. That is where a single crochet is going to go. So, to pull this band through, reclaim, and then there's one single crochet there. And then the next one is an increase. So, one and two into that stitch. And also, by the end of this, you're going to end up with 18 stitches. So in case you want to count your bands out beforehand, you can go ahead and do that. And then I just did a single crochet there. And if you pull it apart, you can kind of tell the difference between a single, like this one here, 
and increase like that one there um so if you ever get lost and you're not sure which one you're supposed to be doing next you can just kind of look back and see but there's an increase and then a single I'm, <laughs> my hamster's making a lot of noise over there she's kicking around her food um she really really enjoys doing for some reason but it's really loud so <laughs> i'm sorry for that but you know i can't really do anything about it but she's decided to wake up finally because you know hamsters they they're nocturnal and it is late right now it's about 9 30 um so she's finally decided to wake up after being asleep basically all day and then when she wakes up, of course, she wants to make a bunch of noise. <laughs> but she does as she pleases. So we're getting towards the end of this row, row three. And there's a single. And we're going to enter in an increase here. And I keep... <laughs> I'm not very good at multitasking, so I keep talking and then forgetting which one I'm supposed to be doing next. So, increase just then, and then this is going to be a single crochet. And then the last one is an increase. I actually ended up with the perfect amount of bands. Wow. It usually never happens, okay? And... We're going to move up our stitch marker. Oh, and you can count here if you want. If you want to count how many bands you have. I'm not going to. But if you'd like to make sure you have the right band count and everything, you can go ahead. And this is what our um, cup will be looking like right now. This is going to be the bottom of the cup. And the next row that we're going to do, we're going to start on the rim. So the rim is row four, and for this one, we're going to be doing single crochets all the, all the way around, but we're only going to be working in the front loop of every stitch, and just like the last row, we're going to end up with 18 stitches. So this is our first stitch here, and normally you would go in it like this, but instead we're going to be working in this front loop only, so let me show you that one more time. So... This is the first stitch here. We're only going in the front loop and stitching in there. So we're going to bring it through like that and then continue working in the front loop all the way around. Single stitches only or single crochet, whatever you call it. And like I said, it's going to be 18 stitches by the end and by doing this by working in the front loop only we are going to be creating a rim around the bottom of the cup because you know cups have rims and as we do this the bands are gonna seem really really loose but as we um, continue making the cup and making stitches and everything it'll become tighter so no need to see how loose it is here it'll fix itself as we keep going um so don't worry about that so keep doing this all the way around if you like you can even pull on the bands to make them tighter, pull on the, the back loop of the stitches that you're working in so that it's not so loose, but for, um, for me, I just kind of let it be and let it work itself out. And also, these bands that I'm using, they're already really loose. Um, they're not as, I guess, 
strong as some other bands that I've used are, which is fine. So it kind of just depends on what kind of bands you're using and how, um, or what they're made out of and everything. So we're nearing the end of this row. Or that is the end of that row, actually. Um, and now we're going to move up our stitch marker and put that there. See how like loose my bands are? See how much they stretch? It just depends on what you're using because like this one that I did, these are different bands and it's so much tighter. Oh, I just, <laughs> just pulled it out. <laughs> it's okay. I'll fix that in a minute, but it all just depends on, on what you're using. So for... The next seven rows, they're all the same. So I'm only going to do um, one of these rows with you, and then I'll let you do the rest of the seven on your own. Or the rest of the, let's say, actually six more after the one, but all together it's seven. And for me, in order to count my rows and keep track of them, instead of having to go back and count them myself I just put out six or seven actually seven bands in order to keep track of what I'm doing so there's five six and then seven and as I complete a row I am going to pick up one of these bands or as I start one I guess I should say so for the next, for row 5 through 11, it's just going to be single crochets all the way around. So I'm going to go into, it's kind of hard to see because my bands got twisted here. But I am going to go in this first stitch here, pick up this band since I'm starting a new row. And then stitch just like that and continue that all the way around um and see it's really loose but like I said it'll fix itself and after this tutorial after I post and everything I am going to record another tutorial that I'm that I'm working on or for a design that I'm working on um because I made a little or designed a little strawberry that I think is really really cute so I'm going to post a tutorial for that one as well after I post this one and also I'm going to be making an Etsy where I'm selling these as well as a bunch of other like an entire bag full of things that I've made with rubber bands things that I've crocheted or I think they're called loomy groomy I think that's how you pronounce I I'm not too sure based on the videos that I've seen of other people where they're saying it I think that's how you say it but correct me if I'm wrong but I'm, but I'm gonna be selling those my shop is not up yet but if you follow my Instagram and my TikTok, I will post updates there as well as here. So if you subscribe, then you'll get that notice whenever my Etsy shop is up. And again, we're nearing the end here. So this is one. And then the last stitch is right there and as I said the next six rows are all the exact same as we just did so just do the same thing six more times I will come back to you when I am done with that now that all seven rows are done your cup should be looking like this and now we're going to start on the coffee part so this row is going to be row 12. And what we're going to do is really similar to what we did when we were making the rim at the bottom. We're going 
would only be working in this front loop, but we are going to be doing a color change on this first one. And a color change, you just bring your new band, your new color band, in through everything that's on your hook, like that. And then re reclaim and pull it through, just like that. And then we're going to continue that all the way around. Working in just the front band, single crochets. So I don't know if you can hear, but my puppy is um, sleeping right here beside my desk. And he's breathing really, really loud. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but in a minute he might start start uh, snoring because he is a really, really loud snorer. So I apologize for that. He's not, well, he's not like a small, small puppy. He's seven months old, but. It's still pretty much a puppy, so. I hope this lighting is good. Um, I tried to, I was trying to figure it out earlier. I think the lighting's pretty okay. It was, I was going to film this earlier in the day when I had, you know, the light coming through my windows and everything, but I ended up not doing that. So, maybe next time I will remember to film, uh, you know, during the day. And I'm just picking up more bands, sorry. Got to pause for a second but while I was actually doing this my hook grip <laughs> one of the bands broke so I had to this is hot glue I had to hot glue it back on to make sure it didn't all fall apart because that would have really really sucked because then I had to redo it and everything I just don't feel like making another one so, we're nearing the end of this last row. Okay. We're going to move up our stitch marker. Just like that. I'm going to pick up some more bands while I'm talking, but the next row that we're doing is going to be a single crochet and then a decrease and I will show you what decrease is and we're also going to end up with 12 stitches by the end of this row so we go back into there and then we're going to start off um, with a single crochet but I'm going to show you this first where we did the color change at the beginning here this right here is the first stitch that we're going through, not this little small loop right there. So don't go through this. Go through this first one right here. Just like that. Oh, not through the cup. This right here. So single stitch, single crochet. And then a decrease is where you grab. So this is where the single, the next stitch we're going to grab the front and then we're going to grab the back of that next one just like that and then make a stitch and then single again and I'm going to show you the decrease so this is where we did our single right here I'm going to go in here to the front and then the back So that way, um, we can close our mug or cup.
cup, whatever you want to call it. Um, there we go. And then single. So the hot glue is coming off. Hopefully my grip doesn't fall apart while I'm doing this. That would really, really, really suck. But I'm thinking about getting a new hook. You know, one of those really thick ones. Because I've heard that it helps with your wrist and everything. Because, um, you know... For some people, if you crochet for a while, then um, it starts to hurt your wrist a lot. I did something weird here. I don't know if you can see that, but I made this little knot that I can't tell if it's supposed to be there or not. I don't think it is, so... I'm not sure what I did there, why that happened, but just make sure you're going through the stitches. Oh wait, I just realized I was only doing singles just then. Okay, wait, I gotta go back. Okay. I was talking and I just got completely sidetracked with what I was doing. So, single. Or what I was saying. And decrease. Single. And you should end with a decrease. One, two, three, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I did something weird in one of my rows, so I ended up with a, a weird number, but as long as you, um, it, it, it doesn't really matter, sorry, I'm just grabbing some more bands out of my box here, but if your number is off, it's fine. It's not going to dr drastically change your cup at all. So don't worry too much about that. Especially at this point, when we're just decreasing and everything, it's not going to uh, affect, affect it that much. So for the 14th row that we're on, we're going to be doing... A, uh, uh, we're going to be doing decreases all the way around. So, just as we were just doing, front row, or front loop back, and a decrease. Decrease, and by the time we're done, we're going to have six stitches. You should have six, I don't even <laughs> I think I'll end up with six because I messed mine up somehow. But after this row, we're going to do stuff our cup. So go in here. And should be six all right like I said I messed mine up so I'm gonna have to add an extra one right there but that's fine I would fix it but I don't really feel like undoing all of it and going back and fixing it because it's fine as is it's not gonna mess mess it up as much so much so I'm gonna take this poly pill and kind of break it apart a little bit and then what I do is I like to roll it around in my hands so that it kind of becomes more compact and more like this rather than like that. You can see a really big difference. So 
gonna kind of stretch it out and then get that in there and it's not full all the way so I'm gonna put a little bit more not too much you don't want to overstuff it because then um, you're gonna have polyfill sticking out everywhere and it's gonna get really aggravating so get that in there okay so there's the cup and then for this last row row 15 we're just going to decrease and then close so it, it's kind of hard to see once you get to this point but you're going to go here and here and decrease here and here really once you get towards the end here you just kind of grab whatever bands you can get a hold of in order to do this because the space gets kind of tight but for this last stitch what you're going to do is you're going to take a band and it's similar to what we did with the color change except we're just going to tie everything off you're going to pull this band through everything on your hook just like that and then reclaim and then pull this front loop through the back one like that and then pull really tight in order to secure that so now we can um, delete take that stitch marker off now you've got this weird little thing but we will tuck that in so not to worry um, I'm just going to pick up some more purple bands for when we do the handle, which I will show you how to do that. But first we're going to tuck this in, so you just go in somewhere and bring your hook up and then through there and tuck that in into the And you can kind of push up these edges and push everything in to make sure everything looks the way that you want it to. And now we're going to do the handle. So where I like to do the handle is right here where we did the color change. You can kind of see the difference where that starts. Um, you can put it wherever you like, but that's just where I to put it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a stitch right here on the side so I'm gonna put my hook in right here and then pull up and this is the stitch that I'm gonna be working in for the moment so I'm going to take my mug color pull it through reclaim and then make a stitch just like that and then we're gonna kind of work diagonally so we just did that stitch there, and now we're going to go in right here, and make a stitch, and we're going to turn again, and go in, I think I'm going to go in right here, so I've got some kind of in a triangle, and now you can see we have one, two, and three stitches you can kind of see this polyfill also sticking out of the cup but if that happens it's fine it's gonna happen of course since there's space between the bands so don't worry about it if that it is like that so we're gonna do the same thing five times so we're gonna go into the stitch here we're gonna do three stitches and I'm going to do all this on camera because this is kind of a small area to work in and I don't want anyone to get confused. So we're, that's where we just did our first stitch in this row, in the second row. And this right here, this um, band right here is going to be the next stitch that we go in. So you kind of have to push your hook down in there in order to dig that out. And then 
stitch and then it's the same thing here it's the stitch right here that we're going to be going in if you aren't used to doing this if this is like one of your first few times making something like this then this might be kind of difficult to do but you'll get the hang of it eventually um it gets pretty easy to see what you're doing the more that you do it obviously sometimes you have to pull these bands apart in order to get in here but you don't have to do five rows like I'm doing. You can do as many as you like. That is really up to you. And you can see me struggling to get my hook in here. There we go. I got it. And for this, we also don't need a stitch marker. It's, it's really... Um, unnecessary so you're just gonna have to keep count of what you're doing here so I'm just gonna pull these apart a little bit so that I can grab this stitch there we go all right and I think I'm actually only going to do one more row. So I'm going to go in right here. It's kind of difficult to do this because I have to, my camera is like right in front of my face, so I have to look around the camera in order to do this. But it's fine. And for this last stitch, I'm going to be doing a slip knot. So. Well, actually, it's not really going to be a slip knot just yet, but I'll show you what to do. So, last stitch, you're going to put this band on your hook, pull it through everything, and then instead of tying it off, I'm going to put it on my finger like that. And then I'm going to find where I want it to be on my cup. So, just about here, if I can get my hook in there there we go and I'm gonna grab the first loop that's on my finger and pull it through that there and then tie it off just like that that way it's very very secure so then I'm just gonna go through a ram spot and pull that in there we go now on to the final part. Also, I don't know why this band right here is sticking up. I don't know. It's kind of bothering me a little bit. I'm just gonna tuck that in. Alright. Now we're going to do the face. So, don't need the hook anymore. Oh, well, not for the time being anyway. So, I'm gonna take my eyes and kind of measure. Sorry, my chapstick. Kind of measure where I want it to be. I'm gonna use this cup as a reference so I think I'm gonna put it about hmm, about right here and right there you just kind of stick them in there you kind of can't really see it very well on camera against the purple but it looks much 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 better in real life rather than on camera so there's that. And then for the mouth, you're just going to super glue it on, but I don't have my super glue gun on right now, so I'm going to do that off camera really quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've glued the mouth on. Again, you can't really see it very well against the camera, but it is there. So now we're gonna, I'm going to find a spot for the blush, 
and I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to take this band, pull it through, and basically do the same thing as a slip knot, except don't pull it as tight. I'm going to let it sit there for just a minute while I put this other blush on. Like that. And then you're just going to tuck the tails in. So go in and pull that band through like that and then do the same on the other side. And if you pull it too far into it, it might get lost a little bit. So just go in there, pull it back up. There is that cup. So that is the end of, I'm just going to put all of them right here. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you all uh, enjoyed and made your little mugs with me. Um, as I said, I am going to be making an Etsy. So look out for that. If you subscribe and look at my Instagram and my TikTok account, I will be posting whenever that shop um, is up. And again, give me any feedback in the comments for how I can make these tutorials um, better or easier to follow, etc. Any kind of feedback at all. As I said, I'm going to be making also a tutorial on the strawberry that I made. So also look out for that and that tutorial will be next. So I'll see you in the next video.